everyone, Karen from the Timeless Dog here. I wanted to take a few minutes out of your day to talk to you about my do's and don'ts of Thanksgiving. There's not too many. I promise you're not going to be here long. I'm also not going to be going over what to feed your dog and what not to feed your dog. There are plenty of images going around the internet right now that can help you with that. What I will say about those images though is do what is best for your dog. Uh, CJ has a poultry allergy, so he will not be getting a lot of turkey. He may get a piece or two just to celebrate. Um, he will also be enjoying mashed potatoes because I don't put a lot of things in my mashed potatoes. Um, so don't get so wrapped up in this image told me I can't give my dog that or I have to give my dog this. Do your own research when it comes to any images that are going around Facebook or Instagram or anywhere and figure out what is right for your dog. So let's jump into my do's and don'ts for Thanksgiving. My first do is give your dog or any pets you have in the home, this works for cats too, give your dog a space of their own. Now this space is somewhere where only they can go on Thanksgiving day. The grandkids can't be running in there and playing with him. Um, you just give your dog their own space to go to so they can kind of decompress. Thanksgiving, believe it or not, is a high stress day, especially for our dogs. Now, we may think that our dogs aren't communicating with us that, hey, I need a break, but a lot of times they actually are. And that may look like a dog that's pacing around a lot, they may be whining, they may be drooling a little bit. And a lot of people think on Thanksgiving, well, my dog's drooling because there's lots of good smells and lots of good food. That may be true, but it could also be a stress signal. And your dog is telling you, hey, I really need a break, there's too much going on, I can't relax and I can't handle this. If we're giving our dog a space where they can go to and calm down, we're less likely to see anything bad happen. Because a stressed dog, especially a stressed dog that we're not listening to, can bite. And the last thing we want is for Fido to bite grandma or grandpa on Thanksgiving. Now, my next do, this should be a shocker for anybody that follows along on my videos, is use enrichment toys, use those licky mats, use those treat balls, fill up an empty egg carton and put your dog's food in that. Give them something to do, especially when they're in that room that only they can go into. This will help work them mentally. Uh, the licky mats help with calming behavior as well. So giving your dog something to do that only they can do and no little grandkids can come in and take away, that will help as well. I do still have some licky mats and treat balls in stock, so if you're looking to purchase some before Thanksgiving, I'm open Monday or Tuesday this week. My last do is teach your dog to settle on their bed or their mat. The last thing we want to be doing when we're trying to finally sit down to that beautiful Thanksgiving dinner that we've created is have to keep going, no, stop, oh my God, don't beg, no, go lay down. We don't want that. I can help you teach your dog in the next few days how to settle on their bed or their mat. I will be offering a video up for sale, um, so stay tuned for details on that. I'll be posting that shortly after this video. Um, but it will be a video on how to teach your dog to settle on their bed or their mat. Now, on to the most important, believe it or not, are those do's or excuse me, those don'ts. <laughs> We're moving on to the don'ts now. The first don't is don't feed your dog cooked bones. It may be very tempting because, well, you got leftover bones. What do we do with them? Please do not give them to your dog. A dog can enjoy raw, uncooked bones, but as soon as those bones are cooked, the bone is very brittle, and as soon as they start chewing it and swallowing it, it breaks up into shards that are really sharp, and you'll end up in the emergency room. 
and we don't want to spend our Thanksgiving there. My last don't is don't overfeed your dog. So if you are going to be indulging your dog in some turkey or potatoes or sweet potatoes or corn or green beans, oh my God, I'm really excited. If you're gonna be giving your dog any of that stuff for Thanksgiving, skip their regular meal. We don't want to overfeed our dogs and have upset bellies. I also don't recommend feeding them exclusively a Thanksgiving dinner. I like to um, feed CJ his regular dinner, taking about maybe a quarter of a cup out, and then I'll put in a couple pieces of chicken, a little bit of corn, and some mashed potatoes. Um, so I don't go overboard, but he certainly is allowed to enjoy Thanksgiving with all of us. If you have any questions or if you're worried about anything as far as Thanksgiving goes, please feel free to reach out. I'm always here and happy to help. Um, again, I will be offering up that video for sale for teaching your dog to settle on their bed or their mat. And if you have any questions, just reach out guys, I'm here. In the meantime, go train your dogs and don't forget to tell them I say hi and happy Thanksgiving.